One. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Life in the Word. My name is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. And I have with me here today. Minister Rosanne. Amen. Amen. Please Amen. like, share, subscribe, Life in the Word. Let someone know we are on. Yes. Amen. Happy Wednesday to you. And we pray you are having a blessed day thus far. Amen. Amen. We've been talking about um, singleness and marriage and what it is to be a yes. wife, a wife looking mm -hmm. and preparing themselves to be found by their husband, amen. amen. So we've been in the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. It says, he who finds a true and faithful wife finds a good and obtains, a good thing, and obtains favor and approval from the Lord, yes. amen. Uh, and then we were kind of talking about, uh, on Tuesday, uh, about how to prepare ourselves, position yourself, ladies, as to be a wife, to ready to be found. Yes, yes. Um, as a wife. And we talked about, you know, just uh, things that we must get rid of. Mm -hmm. um, some, you know, images and some um, some realities that we believe in ourselves, what is a wife. Yes. And that we must seek God, that you must seek God on what it is to be a wife. Mm -hmm. um, and to have favor yes. with God, you know. And that's a powerful thing when, when your husband receives you, that you are his favor. Yes. And that yes, God, so. uh, and God approves you. Mm -hmm. And it's not every marriage God approves. That's true. It's not every it's not every marriage that God finds favor in. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that in the season of, of being ready for marriage, if you're a wife, potential wife looking to be married, that you want to say, Lord, is this one? Is this your will that I, I am yeah. to be married? That's good. Is this your is this your will that I be married? Mm -hmm. And Lord, if this is your will, help me to mm -hmm. prepare myself. Yes. And seeking God. When mm -hmm. see, we can't look at marriage. You know, so that as if it's not important. Yes, that's good. Like that, 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 that it's something that you can just leap into and then leap out if you want to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? You as a as a wife, you have to prepare yourself mentally and emotionally, and get yourself together Come physically on. for Come your uh, for mm -hmm. your husband. What are some things that you're willing to learn? Come on, to that's please good. that husband, mm -hmm. that God. Come on, that God can teach you. Because there's a lot of things you learn on your own. You learn from people mm -hmm. that might not have been the most influential. Yes. You learn some things from some other um, women, right? Or, or, or in your family, you saw some things and you thought that's what it is to be mm -hmm. married. You know, that might not have been the good um, picture of marriage. Yes, yes. Because you, you might have had a bad picture of marriage mm -hmm. and a bad picture of being a wife. And this is why we have to say, you know, God, you know, you know, get rid of something. Help me yes. to see marriage in a different way. If this is what you want, mm -hmm. because you might have saw it one way, and God has His word to show you that marriage is yes. favorable. It is a good thing, but we have to make sure that we are positioning ourselves mm -hmm. so that we can have blessed uh, and blissful marriages. Because a lot of people now, when we look at society, marriage is not even something that's holy. It's not something that. Is um, a good thing anymore. It's very mm -hmm. just like, oh, hey, well, you got married, so yeah. what? It, you know, it's it's like something that you just don't even celebrate. Yeah. Um, it, as you did before, because everybody's getting into it, and everybody's getting out of it. Yeah, like nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we have to make sure, as a wife, as, as it says here, is that he who finds a wife. So we know the responsibility is from the husband. Mm -hmm. We know that the, the wife is not seeking a husband. Come on, exactly. You're not going out into the world and finding you a no good man mm -hmm. and then blame God for it. Because <laughs> God good. didn't assign you. He didn't prompt you to go out there and go Come look on. for the man. That's good. And then now you blame, oh Lord, I got into this messed up relationship. Mm -hmm. I got caught up with this man. I gave him my body. He just left. He abused me and left me. Mm -hmm. He took advantage of me. And then we're blaming God. No, don't blame God for your, your lack. Yes of decision making knowing that you're trying to go into work this is for a godly wife yes. too mm -hmm. if you're a godly wife looking for a godly husband because sometimes you can't wait long enough so we go into the world and we try to get something that god don't want us to get yes yes that's good come on like it's, and, and that mm -hmm. you know singleness is preparing you. Yes. it's getting you see singleness singleness is the safe place to grow 
Singleness is the safe place where God can work on you. Mm -hmm. And God can minister to you. And God can tell you some things. He can give you revelation about yourself to be healed. Yes, yes. Come on. The Bible said that God is the mender of broken hearts. Sometimes our heart is not even ready, wives, to be to be a wife. That's good. Because if you have been married before and divorced now, there's some things you got to tell Lord, heal me. Yes. Lord, heal me. It, you need healing. Yes. Lord, heal me. And if you don't know what marriage is because you've never been married before, and you have, that's where your, your requests and your petitions are different. Everybody's different. Yes. And you have to say, Lord, whatever is required for me to be a great wife, give that to me. Help me to see that. I need to be healed. Yeah. I need to be healed. I need to be whole. God don't want to, uh, 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 a husband and wife coming together fighting mm -hmm. and, and, and arguing. Come on. Come on. And, be, and for it to be combative. Mm -hmm. Because we're not, we're trying to have the husband build the wife that should already built, be built already. Yes, yes. So true. I like what you said. A godly husband. Yes. It's important that you get a godly husband. Yes. Because a godly husband, if you obtain favor because he seek you out, you could always work it out. Mm -hmm. God will always be the center of Whatever comes, yes. you can work it out. A godly husband make a big difference than a worldly husband. Yes. Because the worldly husband is, as you said, toxic. Yes. That's where the toxic come from. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I like what you said because I saw this clip. This girl was prepared, proposing to a man. And I'm like, she is so off. Mm -hmm. The world we live in, in, doing its own thing. They forgot about the word. And as you said, he who finds a wife, not yes. a woman you kneeling down and asking him to marry you right. that's off that's toxic right there yes and they're doing their own thing without god because only as you said earlier only the word of god can teach you how to be a godly wife yes and you got to tell yourself the truth as you said earlier look at yourself in the mirror are you really ready to be a, you understand to be a wife yes you got to tell yourself the truth because you could be having things in you that you think you're ready to be a wife and then when the man comes to find you it's toxic. Yes. Mm -hmm. And God, God, God always have unity and love and togetherness. In in uh, being being married is a blessing. Right. For I, I always come up, um, command people like give them credit and say it's a beautiful thing to see two people praising God together. They love each other, trying to do it God's way. Yes. But as you said, you have to look for a godly husband. Yes. And a lot of people thinking. And they go by society and prayer pressure. And some ladies don't want a husband. Mm, yes. Some ladies want to be by themselves. But because of their friends or because of what they're seeing in society, oh, my, I'm getting too old, let me just get married. And as you say, you can't jump in the ship and think you're going to jump out and this, right. you know, like a skipping rope. Yes. That's not God's way. Yes. Yes. You got to really think about it. You got to really sit down and say, do you really, really want to be a wife? Because as you said earlier, wifely duty comes with a lot of responsibility. Yes. Are you, are you one of those people who like to say, oh, I don't want to get up next to nobody. I just want to be by myself. You know what I mean? I like being... It's a lot you got to think yes. about. As you said, look in the mirror and right. tell yourself the truth. Right. Why, uh, marriage is not a place of complacency. Yeah. It's a place of work. It's a place of business. <laughs> you work... You, you work... It. You work the man. You don't just sit there and leave everything all to hope and leave everything all to God. Yeah. The Bible said, show me your faith and I'll show you my work. Come on now, minister. We, we, we leave everything to faith, but you don't work nothing to see the fruit of what you pour water on. And we don't see, mm -hmm. come on, the, 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 what, we, yeah. we, what we thought we would reap. Yeah. Because you didn't do enough water. Come on. You yes, didn't do abdomen. enough pouring. Yes, you yes. didn't do enough working. You, you thought that you was going to get a whole paycheck when you work half the week. No, you don't get, when you <laughs> work right half the week, you don't get a full paycheck. No, it's not there. So now your money is missing. <laughs> and then now it's the same thing with marriage. You did half the work thinking you're going to get a whole harvest of a marriage that you thought. Come on. No, yeah. you're not going to get that. And then you leave the husband to be a, a, be a build a bear project <laughs> where he's trying to build you. When you were already supposed to come build. Yes. Come on, minister. I like that. I Why like should that. you come as a wife and the man is trying to build and the man is mm -hmm. trying to build you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you are, and you supposed to come as Eve did. Ready. Yes. That's good. Come on. You supposed to come as Eve did. Mm -hmm. Ready to be in the arms of Adam. Yes. 
Yes, yes. I don't need to work on you. Come on. The only thing that we need to do when you come, when that husband finds you, is that we work together. Together. But I shouldn't be working on you and yes. fighting you to be a to be something that you should be already coming into the marriage. Oh, come on now. And that's the problem with marriage that we're fighting for something that should that should come in a in a package already sealed and ready to be opened and enjoyed. Yes. Not this is good. See, not not coming. You know, missing yeah. products and missing yes. things. Come on, that's like you ordering two items in Amazon, but one of them is missing. No, this is not. No, this is not the complete package here. This is something good. is missing in this thing that I should have received because I paid for it. Yes, yes. This is good. This is good. I paid for something that never. I paid for something that never came. Come on, y'all. Don't get upset, y'all. Sit right here. Come on, because the, the the payment is God's approval. So Come why on. is something missing? When God said it's approving, that's why we got to, you know, stop faking the funk. Because yes. some wives out here got other people husbands. Yes. Ooh. Come on. I like what you said. He says, like, order an Amazon package. If they you order throw, a they table. They're going to throw the tomatoes at that thing. No, that, that no. Don't throw thing. no table with tomatoes because it's going to help you. It's going to get you delivered and get your mindset. Because you're going wrong in circle and you're like, God, help me. And if for God to help you, you got to really sit down and take it. Drink the medicine and learn from it and act on it and this will help you. It will really help you in God. You understand? So you're teaching good. It's like an Amazon package. I see you know you order a table and one of the foot is missing. Yeah. That table can't stand. Or yeah. you won't put anything foundation on yeah. top of that. And that's really good. Because that's what we do. Let's be real ladies. That's what we do. We come with we come with baggages and we don't want to say to ourselves, this is a problem that we need to drop. And you come in thinking the man is gonna fix it when you're supposed to fix it when you're single. Yes. Let's be real. Yes. Because we are all guilty for doing that and we are getting a chance now to get it right. Yes, yes. We got we we have to be completely honest with the Lord. Especially ladies, when there's so much um anointing on your life. Mm -hmm. To bless this, come on, to, for you, for God to call you favor and to God to approve you mm -hmm. as a wife for this husband, this, you know, potential husband that God may send into your life and that he may find you. There's so much more work that will be done after you say, I do. Mm -hmm. And this is why you have to get yourself completely ready, not come partially on, ready. Come on, you have to get yourself ready mentally, emotionally, Teachers and get yourself in the place of ready status. We'll See, ready. ready status means that I'm expecting. Come on. I'm expecting a call. I'm expecting to be called into uh, to uh, a wife. When that husband finds me, he's not seeing me half done. Yeah. He's not seeing any missing parts. Yeah. He's seeing what God has called favorable mm -hmm. and faithful and true, which Come is on. a wife. Come on. And a lot of the battle, I'm telling you, a lot of the battle is going to come because the, me the husband is trying to build his wife. Mm -hmm. When you should already come built. Come on, Jesus. You should come together. Yes, Lord. Why do we have arguments and fights and mm -hmm. the yelling and the kicking and all these things? It's because we're trying to make that person fit into yeah. our image of, of what they did not get. What they should have got in the mm -hmm. beginning. I like that. You said fit into the image and what I saw is puzzle. Yes. You come in with a puzzle missing pieces. Yes. And the puzzle should be a whole thing. Yes. That's good. Yes. You can't be like, yeah, Amen. this is good. But we'll leave it there. We have much more to talk about later this week. Uh, we pray the word bless you if you're a wife, looking to be a wife, yeah. and God has you in a ready status yes. to be a wife. We pray that this word is doing something yes, for you. Yes, it is. Amen. My name again is Minister Emmanuel Renee Jr. And I have with me Minister Brazan. Praise the Lord. And please remember, Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. God, God bless you.